Hey, it's Chris here. Let's talk about keyword research. But before we dive into that, let's just set the stage for everyone here. We're talking about marketing your app and getting your app more downloads and visibility. Now, as I see it, there are a couple of ways to do this. You can do manual efforts such as doing videos and articles and content marketing in general. You can tell people about it. You can engage in Reddit and other forums that are related to your app. You can go to events that are you know, about your app or you could go the paid route you could do paid ad placements such as TikTok ads or Facebook ads. You can do influencer marketing. You can sponsor events or sponsor things like that to get your brand out there or organic, which is probably the best kind because you don't have to do anything. Word of mouth happens after your brand gets to a certain level and people talk about your app and then there's app store search. And that is people looking in the app store for a solution to their problem and finding your app. So that is what we are focusing on today in this video. How do you have your app appear at the top of the search results when a user is looking for a solution for whatever problem that your app solves? And that is through keyword research. Now, the tool that we're going to be using is called Astro. And I love this tool because it is A, priced right and B, focused on keyword research. So before I show you how to use the tool, let's talk a little bit about it. This tool connects to Apple search ads, so it gets the data right from Apple. And for any given keyword, it tells you how popular it is, meaning how many people search for that term and how competitive it is, meaning how many other apps are ranking for that keyword that are strong so that it would make it hard for your app to rank for. Now, in terms of costs, it costs about $9 a month billed annually. You can download a free demo, so you can go ahead and do that. I'll leave the link in the description below. And by the way, that is a referral link. So if you happen to sign up and you use it, thank you so much. I get a little bit of a bonus with no extra cost to you. So now let me show you how to use Astro to find great keywords. And now we need a starting point. So if you already have an app idea or you already have a problem that you want to solve, go ahead, click add keywords and type in what you think the user would type in to find your app. If you don't have any starting point in mind, just type in some word that comes to mind because you're going to use this as a starting point. It's not going to be the keyword that you choose. So I'm going to use an example such as acne care. Maybe someone is looking for an app to help them with their acne. What you're going to do is take a look at the apps that are ranking. So you can just ignore the popularity and difficulty. You're going to click on the apps that are ranking. So these are the apps that are going to show up in the app store when you search for acne care. And often I'll take the first app that I think is related because sometimes the apps that come up, they're not really related to your search term. If your search term is a little more ambiguous. Okay, so go ahead and click on this eye icon. And what that's going to show you is all the keywords that that app is ranking for. And we are going to now filter popularity and difficulty to find a keyword that is rankable for us. So low enough in difficulty, but is also popular enough that we will get searchers searching for it where our app would show up. So for difficulty, we are going to target below 50. And for popularity, we are going to target above 20. And now just a note on why specifically 20 and 50. Well, I have to give credit to where credit is due. And that is to Adam Lytle. He has his own YouTube channel, so go check that out. But in this video, he shares that is what he looks for. And he's built a lot of apps. And so I trust his experience in this matter. And so that's why I'm looking for the same numbers. I'll link to his video in the description below. So now what you want to do is sort it. Now I like to sort it by popularity with the highest popularity at the top. And essentially you want to look for keywords that have the best ratio. So as high of a popularity as possible and as low of as a difficulty as possible. Now this isn't the only thing we're going to look at. We're going to look at some other factors, but this is the starting point. Now what we want to avoid are brand names. So ProCare this looks to be a brand name. If you don't know, just Google it. And if a company exists of that name, it's going to show up. 
And the reason why we want to avoid brand names is because they will always outrank us. And to avoid any potential litigation, lawsuits and legal issues, you want to avoid that. So object removal doesn't really sound like it pertains to acne as well because it's kind of ambiguous. Skin care scanner. Oh, I didn't know that these sorts of things existed. Now, this could be a good keyword, so I would check it off just to make note of it because we're going to add the selected ones for deeper analysis. Acne safe kind of sounds like a brand name keyword. Another clue is if there are not that many apps ranking or you know, not that many apps showing up for that search term. It could be either it's a new opportunity like this keyword or this term or phrase just came into existence and gaining popularity. So that's why there's not too many apps about it. And so that could be an opportunity or number two, it is a brand name. So people aren't creating apps, you know, based around this keyword. So it could be one of those two things. This seems to me like a brand name. I don't know. I'll just choose it. But essentially, that's what you're going to do. You're going to go down this list and look for, you know, good opportunities. Now, this one seems a little lower in difficulty, so that could be good for us. And wait, clothes remover, that has nothing to do with that. <laughs> Why would that even show up? Skin scanner. Okay, that is kind of like this one, which is pretty cool. Skin vision, that sounds like a brand name. Anyways, let's start with this, okay, because I want to show you what else we look for aside from just popularity and difficulty. So we're going to add these for a little deeper analysis. Now, before we go ahead and build a skin care scanner app, there are a few things that I want to find out. A, are apps ranking for this keyword actually making money? Because otherwise there'd be no point. Number two, can we actually rank for this app? Even if the difficulty is below 50, we can take a deeper look in and check out more factors. And number three, is a skincare scanner app exactly what I think it is? Now for this keyword, it might seem obvious, but sometimes you never know. So the tool that I like to use for this is app figures. And I have a free account, so you can go ahead and sign up for free and you can be able to do this. It's a trial that you, you don't need to enter your credit card, so that's nice. So anyways, we're gonna enter our keyword skin care scanner into the keyword inspector and we're going to take a look at in more detail what types of apps are ranking for this now just a note off the bat app figures has popularity and competitiveness ratings as well you might be thinking why don't we just use app figures for everything and you're going to find that every keyword research tool has different numbers you can see the numbers differ, and that's because they have different algorithms to figure out competitiveness. And what the numbers mean from tool to tool varies. And so what's the point of using a keyword research tool if you don't understand what the number means, right? So if you don't have the experience of using app figures and then launching this app and understanding how competitive 86 is, it's really no help to you. And that goes back to Astro because Adam Lytle mentioned before has built a lot of apps using this tool. He knows what numbers works for him. And so we can then, you know, just borrow that knowledge from him. Thank you so much, Adam, for sharing that with us. Right. So I can be confident or more confident that building an app surrounding those numbers, 20 and 50, it is going to be rankable. Right. That's why that's why I choose Astro. And plus, a lot of these tools have a lot of features which I don't need right now, whereas Astro is priced right, I feel, and it is purely focused on keyword research. So the interface is nice and it's clean and it's clear. OK, so let's take a look at these apps. So first of all, is this exactly what you think it is? You can click this app and then you can scroll down and take a look at the screenshots. And why is it talking about food? I thought we were talking about skincare. It's interesting that check out what's in your products ranks number one for skin care scanner. OK, so this is more of what I thought a skin care scanner would be. Let's take a look at the screenshots. It's still loading. But this is also how I would check out if the app is making revenue or not. 
right? I would take a look at the top 10 apps and just see, are apps making money? And it seems like, yes, there are apps here that are making quite a bit of money. Okay, so that checks that off. And also it is the type of app that I expect it to be, which is like take a photo of your face and I don't know, look for blemishes and look at what your face might need in terms of products or skincare. Okay. And number three is to understand if there's an opportunity to rank. And to understand that, we need to take a look at some notes. And how I created this set of notes is by watching all of the experts' videos and basically taking notes. Ariel is actually the founder of App Figures. So a lot of good knowledge for free. But these are the notes that I gathered from a whole bunch of different experts into what goes into app ranking. I'm not going to go through it with you one by one here. I'll list this in the description below, but I can point out a few things in here. Now, if you wanted to target skin care scanner and give yourself the biggest opportunity to do so, you would put this specific phrase in your app title in the leftmost spot. What we want to check for is that the competitors are also not doing that, right? Because that would give us a leg up on the competition. So as you can see here, these apps are not doing that. None of them are. And this specific phrase is also not in the, the subtitle or the title of the app. Now, why would these apps not do that if we all know that that's what you're supposed to do? It's probably because these apps are targeting other keywords. So they are putting, for example, this one is probably targeting just skin scanner. Now, you may not be able to target that keyword because that might be too competitive for you. That's why we identified skincare scanner as a potential keyword, because if your app is brand new, it's not going to have the same authority as other apps that have been around for the, a long time and that have a lot of ratings. That's another authoritative thing. So you might need to target lower competition keywords, like easier keywords that don't bring in as much volume, but is a good start for your app. And then as your app gains authority, you then target bigger keywords. So that's why these apps um, may not specifically be targeting this one. And that's where you have an opportunity to jump in with your app. Another thing we want to look for is the number of new ratings. Now this is new ratings. It's received in the last 30 days. So ratings are a big thing in Apple from what I've gathered in learning about this sort of stuff is that recent ratings play a huge weight, regardless of whether it's like a one star or four star or five star. Apple just wants to know that people care enough to even rate your app. And so if you look at the apps here, you want to look for low numbers. So this one, for example, four might be something that you can achieve with your brand new app. Maybe you need to do some marketing. Maybe you need to tell your friends and family about it, post it somewhere. But four new ratings in the last three days probably is sounds achievable for you as a new app. But 2.4K new ratings in 30 days probably is not that achievable for you as a new app unless you have a big budget around it already. Some other things that can play into it. If you see apps that are newly released, like recently released, this would, this is pretty recent, two months ago. That's a really good sign that when you release your app, that as a new app, you have an opportunity to rank in the top 10 because this app is already doing so. Another thing I look for, which probably is not as technical, but more subjective is how many apps here are built by individuals in these because if you see apps here built by individuals then that's a good sign that you as an individual can rank as well now that one i just made up it's just sort of a reassuring thing for me yeah and that's actually how i go about it oh actually one more thing here is that this these two columns is really helpful because you want to basically see as many not used as possible so it's checking for skin care scanner in either the title or the subtitle. And if it's not used like here or here, if you use this phrase, as we talked about in your app title, it's going to be really good. Now, this one says it is used even though 
it's not this specific term is because Apple will consider all of the different variations of these three words in your title or subtitle. So here you have skin care scanner. Right? That's not going to be as powerful as you putting exactly the search term in the title in the top left or all the way to the left. So that's how I would consider it. And then what I would do if this seems like a rankable app and the apps are making money, which so far ticked all the boxes, I would write it down. I would create a table like this. What I have here of all these different app ideas, and I would take a screenshot of this and then I would paste it in this column. So this is what I've been doing. They keep a notebook of different app ideas. So in fact, I'll just do this right now. Skin care scanner. And I will just take the, what is that? 36 and 48. Now keep in mind that these numbers do change. That's why there's a little bit of an urgency. So apps are making money. There are new apps in the top 10. And then I would take a screenshot and put it in there. And you go through it like that. So going back to Astro, you would repeat the process with different keywords, perhaps different niches. You can, you can launch this again and you can check out the next competitor's keywords by clicking this eyeball icon again and just repeating the process, looking for keyword opportunities that may be good for you to build your app on. And sort by popularity and then you can look. Now see some of them rank for keywords that don't have anything to do with acne care. And that actually could be a good segue into another niche. So for example, if I just take this one, wellness living, what, what does that even mean? Right? And I don't know what Yuko means, but that could be a starting point for another, another search. So I would just add those two and I would take a look at the competitors for this. It looks like wellness living as a brand here, but positive daily affirmations. You can take a look at that. And again, you can filter. And once you find a keyword that you really like, because if the topic resonates with you, I think that it's a really good thing. Celebrate recovery, right? Then the next step would be punching it in here. So I typed it wrong. No. This looks like to be a brand as well. Yeah, so this is how I do my keyword research. And anytime I'm looking for an app idea, I can go back to my notebook and pull something out from here. Now, if you do it this way, you are going to be confident that when you launch your app, it's going to have a really high chance of ranking in the app store and giving you a leg up for your app already because you'll be getting users and downloads and that helps your motivation. That gives you some user feedback that allows you to check out if your app is worth pursuing and building upon. And you can also then do the rest of this. If you want to take it a step further, I do have an indie app program where I show how we go from these keywords to actually building it out and making money with apps, building it fast, shipping it fast, and you know, so on and so forth. So I'll link to that in the description below as well. If that is not interesting to you, definitely check out Astro, at least check out the free demo. I think it's worth trying out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.